Hey, what's up guys? Good morning or good afternoon whenever you're seeing this. We're going to head up today since it's such a beautiful weekend. It's like 70s all weekend. So nice. So we're going to go up to the Route 66 uh, flea market, I think it's called. Something like that. I don't know. It's just like an outdoor shopping flea market and stuff. And we've been waiting for a morning when it's nice enough to walk around outside. It's been a little chilly in the mornings, but yeah we're heading up there right now and he's barking at some dogs <laughs> walking down the street we'll also be uploading this video with nomad internet if you guys need some high speed mobile wi-fi check out the link below now let's head to the flea market and he's ready to do some shopping huh she looks a little different she got her summer cut yeah and you got cut it's so <laughs> short it's so soft though <laughs> we keep her mohawk though it's natural <laughs> she likes it <laughs> Down on rise again and we roll the dice roll the dice we roll the dice we made it to the route 66 flea market there's like a couple couple rows it looks like to walk through it's maybe about a block wide so We'll see if there's anything cool, huh? Yeah. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. There's three big rows. All kinds of cool stuff. It is dog friendly. Candace is carrying Annie though. It's just easier. She don't walk well around a lot of people. <laughs> she don't yeah. know what to do. And it, gets, it looks like it gets a little crowded down here. So. just about anything here i'm mainly looking for collectibles something cool from the 80s or something hey we do need a wheelbarrow yes we do hmm. a lot fancier scooter than i had yeah candace had something like that when she hurt her ankle and foot yeah you can get just about anything here it's a lot bigger than I thought when I looked at all the reviews, everybody said it was kind of a small swap meet. It was a pretty good size. Yeah. There's three big rows just like this. So that's quite a bit. Very cool. No treasures yet. <laughs> Hi, Annie. She Annie? showed that dinosaur. That was Annie, you cool. find any treasures yet? Yeah, there was a talking, not a talking, but a, a little plush Animated, dinosaur that yeah. moved it was pretty good size but 250 dollars cool, i don't though. know it might be a good deal i have to look it up <laughs> this place sells chicken eggs or duck eggs six dollars a dozen for duck eggs i didn't know people ate duck eggs i don't know i knew <laughs> she didn't know. so they also have a concession building here with drinks and food and stuff we're not really hungry before we came, but it's good to know that we'll definitely come back. There's a lot to see. We got a pretty good little menu here. Yum. How's that sound, Annie? You want a chimichanga? Candace would find the rocks, huh? Alright, we scored. I got me a wheelbarrow wheelbarrow and a, a temper is that what they're called stamper i don't know it just packs down the gravel and the dirt or whatever you need to pack it'll come in handy yeah not bad at all a hundred bucks for that wheelbarrow which is brand new double wheel and it's plastic it's it's a good one when candace googled it, it's like 200 and something dollars but the guy said they have it in town here for 130 but i don't know but 80 bucks yeah 80 bucks 100 for that for both 100 dollars. so pretty good deal Be good. all right we're home candace wanted burger king so we got <laughs> burger king we don't eat a lot of fast food i will normally talk her out of it <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had fast food but they, we keep seeing that dang commercial for the Big King, and I keep trying to tell her it's a copy of the Big Mac. But, but I wanted to try it. I've never It doesn't it. look like the Big Mac, and it doesn't have the sesame seed bun, but they use the Big Mac sauce. Yeah. And she's trying to say it's new, and it's not <laughs> new. 
I've had it before. And now they might have went away and they brought it back. But it's not like new, new. It's just like a Big Mac. The only difference is it doesn't have the middle bun. It tastes like a Big Mac. So a little while back before we got sick, we told you guys about we was getting some 3D images done of the baby and stuff. Well, we did and we didn't. I'll let Candace explain what happened. Well, first of all, I looked on the internet. They had a really cool website. It was called Baby Meets World. The reviews were kind of old, but um, it looked legit. And so anyway, they had packages. I picked out a package of what kind of pictures came with a DVD, a CD, all this stuff. First, she rescheduled our appointment a couple times. She's a mother, I was understanding, no big deal. Then we went and had the ultrasound done and she had new equipment. She didn't really know how to use very well. <laughs> she couldn't print any pictures for me, which was part of the package I paid for. She, didn't, she couldn't give me a CD or a DVD of anything of the video. So she said she was gonna email it to me. And from how I understood it at first, she was gonna email me a video too. But when I got the actual email from her, there was just six pictures on there. And they weren't very good. Wasn't we also supposed to get like a stuffed animal with the baby's heartbeat? Well, that was a little extra, but she couldn't do that either because they, the speakers weren't working. She didn't, yeah, we, didn't, we couldn't hear anything because she didn't know so how we, to make the sound work. We couldn't listen to the baby's heartbeat. Well, she was pretty nice about it while we were there, and um, she rescheduled with us to come in again and because the baby was kind of hiding her face, too, so it was hard to get good pictures of her. So we wasn't there very long. Yeah, so we rescheduled, and then when we showed up for our next appointment, the doors were locked. She wasn't even there. <laughs> and then it got to the point where she wouldn't return my calls or my texts or anything. So Very unprofessional. Yeah, it was really disappointing, and we kind of got took, but these things happen. You just never know. Yeah, she charged us before we left. She went ahead and charged us. Yeah. You know, so it felt like we got scammed, like she didn't know what she was doing. We usually won't talk bad about somebody's business, but it was... It was pretty shady how it was, she did it. Yeah, it was shady. It definitely was shady. Very, very unprofessional. So, I don't recommend going there no. to anybody. If you're from the area, there's been one other review on there since we went, and they kind of said something similar. So... She doesn't quite know what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, you should learn your stuff and learn what you're doing before you start advertising it and charging people to do it, you know? Yeah. It, it was crazy. It, it was pretty, it was, yeah. Well, but we're gonna move on. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I will, I'm gonna put in the pictures that we did get, cause she did get a couple. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you guys those and then the baby <laughs> will be here soon now anyway. Yeah. So. And those will be way better yeah, pictures. That's better. <laughs> What is she doing out here? Oh, I thought you was back here working. <laughs> Sound like you was raking. I tried for a second, but there's a lot of stickers out there. Yeah, we're just gonna have to. I don't know what we're gonna do actually. I think I'm just gonna rent a little, a little walk behind a skid loader with a little bucket and just skim the top off and then this is all going to be rocks along here and then probably rocks along the wall and then the whole middle here is going to be fake grass sound good to you annie we're going to get on it soon we've only got one more day in the 70s and then we've got a couple chilly days in the 50s before it goes back up to 60s so here very 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 soon we're going to start working on the patio in the backyard getting rid of this fence right here that'll all be rock over there right now it's all seeds and bird poop and so yeah much bird poop. <laughs> yeah we gotta get an exterminator over here pest control or whatever see what they can do about these birds because i'm not going to live with pigeons all in my tree so they're gonna get rid of them and then we'll clean up over here and redo the patio fix all the cracks and paint it or coat it in something it'd be pretty nice back here yeah 
it's not bad now we do have nice new furniture so it's comfortable yeah it's a nice little hangout but it hasn't really been super nice many days where you want to hang out outside it is winter time even here it's not cold like the midwest and the east coast but it does get chilly so you don't want to be out here when it's 50 and windy all right guys we're going to end this one here and we will see you in just a few days thanks for watching say bye annie <laughs>Hey, Chloe, she didn't even know we got home. Hey, what are you doing? You can't sleep all day, and then you yell all night. She's like, man, what do you want from me? All right, I'm going to eat my burger. I'm getting hungry. The, what do you call it? The flame broiled meat is different. Other than that, it's a Big Mac. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Who knew? I didn't know. I knew.